So these two athletes are called to the pit. Your referee for this bout is Mr. Dan Mohavedi. And Bass, this is going to be an exciting one. Ooh, I feel a little nervous thing in the belly. Touch of gloves, black outfit for uh, Esquivel, white outfit for Oliveira. And Bass, Oliveira, a very, very spiritual fighter. She told us she, she does a lot of uh, spiritual investigation with ayahuasca and, yeah. <laughs> and these sort of uh, psychedelics in the jungle. And, you know, she actually told us that she... Oh, Ooh. she knocks down. Oh. Esquivel quickly chooses not to follow up, but she told us that she'd actually had a vision of winning this fight alongside being in her mother's womb Oof. in, a, in a, a, a psychedelic experience in the jungle. Well, let's see if she wins, because if she wins, maybe I'm going to have to try it out. <laughs> yeah, she said, you know what, I'm not worried about the fight at all because I've already seen myself win. Wild punches, though, from Oliveira. She used to be a little bit more compact and come forward, as she said, with a lot of boxing and press, press the fight. She needs to do this. Yeah, nice low kick from Oliveira, finding that lead calf. Nice long jab, so to say. Left hand. We know Esquivel. that uh, Esquivel is probably setting up that high kick again. It's what she did to Villanueva. Low, 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 and then go high. She tries to stay in the pocket there and throw. Oh, Ooh, good shot on the break. Yeah, that wasn't the button. <laughs> Yeah, as you mentioned, Bash, she, she told us now that she's had her first big KO of her competitive career, she's utterly addicted to the feeling. Yeah, there's nothing like it, man. Uh, let me tell you, I miss that the most. I mean, that was all, you know, that match against Villanueva was also a rematch from 10 years earlier in her career. So, you know, that meant a lot to her. She's hunting a rematch with Christina Kamakopolu as well, who, who nice dealt her punch. a loss earlier in uh, karate combat. That was a nice punch counter there from Esquivel. But that back kick, let her miss, puff, right hand in there. Yeah, Ooh. tries a nice front kick. It's a good catch uh, yeah. by the Brazilian. Drives her back, and this is good. Ground and pound. She's got to get that knee up off the ground, though. You've got to be standing or with one knee placed on the opponent. You cannot contact the ground with your kneecap to throw those strikes. Good exchange there. Chin was just up a little bit too high in the air from Oliveira. Yeah, she can do that. So watch out. When she attacks, she goes up. Good flurry. We've got about 40 seconds left in this opening round. Of course, three threes on the clock for this one. And there's some damage bass on the face yeah. of uh, Oliveira. That was that right hand after the back kick. That is a, the very focused look on uh, Esquivel's face here. He landed a couple of good shots. Oh, that was nice. Almost landed a big left. Low kick. Good setup. I would set it up with a shot. Yeah, they left and a right low kick. They both dropped into a very traditional kind of boxing guard here. Wild overhand right misses the mark. We just heard 10 second clackers come in. Nice front kick to the body there. Beautiful hook kick there. Yeah, I just tagged it on the end. Not a huge amount of power, but it still still contacted the target. That's it. Means uh, watch out. I can touch you. <laughs> First round is in the books. As we said, some damage on the face of Oliveira. I'm sure we'll get a shot of that in the corner in a moment. But let's take a look back at some of these replays, boss. That's the punch, I'm telling you. See, right in the nose. And uh, the kick was caught a couple of times. Some good ground and pound with intent here from the Brazilian. And also a good catch. It right away followed up with a cross to the face. That was nice. There's the hook kick to the ear. And it was with the bottom of the foot, she should have thrown it with the heel. Yeah, Esquivel said to us that, uh, you know, she believed she would have the advantage because she can fight across styles and be unpredictable. Yes, yeah, she's got she can, small uh, legs too, she said, you know, and she's really using them. She, she really does, you can tell. In her torso, yep. she's, she's quite short and, and much longer in her legs. As we said, having a little bit of a height advantage. But uh, Oliveira giving a good account of herself so far as they come down into the pit, get to seeing round number two underway. I'm going to touch. I'm going to touch. Yes, we touch. Okay, touch off. <laughs> and there's a lot of activity and intent from, well, both ladies, but yep. uh, initially the, the lead hand of Esquivel. Yeah, she's moving. She's more dancing than round number one. Pretty sure that's what the corner said. There hasn't been a whole lot of, of lateral or circular movement from either of them, though. No, exactly. This, now we got some movement backwards to the side, which is a great thing to do, of course. And see, in order to connect with that kick, set it up with the hook like that. 
Yes. Because they block the hooks, stationary, boom, then throw the kick. Yeah, Esquivel measuring with that lead hand, but it's single shots at the moment. Uh, and that's a good combination, but it gets the kick caught again, and I love that catch of the kick to return kick. There we go again with the crazy kick. I love it. No, nice. oh, straight right solar to the plexus. solar plexus. Woo. This is cleaner reverse punch as you're going to land. Oh, I thought she was going to set up a left kick to the head. Spinning. Well, interestingly, we haven't really seen her show, uh, show the kick that was her big knockout yet. I wonder if she's trying to bide her time a little bit. Yeah, I figured you pointed out. She's also have a higher guard, you see, than her last opponent. Lead left hook coming in. Bit of head movement from Oliveira now. Actually, she's setting some low kicks up. Maybe it's the setup. Do a high kick. That was a good little flurry from the Mexican. Both. See? Uh, that might be a setup to the high kick. Well, she did tell us, didn't she, that she really planned on, on trying to throw low kicks, low kicks, low kicks, and, and really take the focus away from the head. She said, come on, let's do this. I love that little stabbing crescent kick. Oh, beautiful. Right hand landed. So counter punch there, though, from the Oliveira. She is getting clipped on the way in, though, <laughs> measuring that left hand right to the uh, right to the forehead. We've got about a minute left in this second round here. Oliveira with most of the time in the center of the pitch. She is landing a few shots, but yeah, well, it's better now. Actually, I was going to say on balance, the volumes probably go in the way of of uh, Esquivel, but uh, evening up a little bit, perhaps. And that's a good flurry, stays in the pocket, keeps throwing, gets that left again. It was a good break of tempo, wasn't it, Bass, on the right? It was, but it was a oh, nice front kick to the face while she went against the wall. But she also, just before that, Esquivel landed in the right. Well, I wonder if Esquivel appreciated the knee on neck there to land some ground and pound. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of this round, and that is a big moment for Esquivel to perhaps twist this second round going her way. Oh, and uh oh, Oliveira is starting uh -oh. to land. Uh, will here. They start the fight. Oh, Whoa. and it's a last second TKO. Fabiola Esquivel hits the canvas. As Stephanie Oliveira is victorious in her karate combat debut. I guess it's ayahuasca for Boss Rubin now. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I'd be anxious to know if that's how she saw her victory going. She slowly but surely started getting stronger in the fight, right? She did. Certainly, as that second round went on, you could see as soon as she connected with a good flurry, it really gave her the confidence to keep going and break that tempo. Let's take a look at the finish here, boss. Coming forward, coming forward, left hook cross. Yeah, I think that first cross, that was a big one. It was on the side of the head and the temple. And at that point, uh, Esquivel were just her eyes were not engaging one. the opponent at all. You can see at this point she's she's just not looking at her opponent, and that's wow. always going to give the referee cause to step in and stop the bout. Let's go ahead, throw this down into the pit, and get our official decision. Ladies